washing machine that's backing up. One of the signs that you can tell, if you look here inside of the wash box, you'll see that there's, there's bubbles back in there and water was leaking onto the floor. So the way I usually like to tackle these problems is with a, uh, a drum snake. It's a lot easier, a larger snake that you're gonna have to sit on the ground and then you're working, trying to fight against gravity or you have to sit the machine on top of somebody's appliance. So you definitely wanna protect the appliance with whatever cardboard. I've got a little drop cloth here. There may be some splashback, um, but uh, there, there's also a um, couple different styles of cables. One of the best ones is if you, uh, you know, you can upgrade or you can find a machine that has the, uh, the, uh, the bulb auger that kind of swivels. It's going to help us get past the trap. About two or three feet, we're going to hit an obstruction and it's just, it's just the trap. So you got to work past that. So I'll feed in, I'll feed in manually at first. Okay, and that's right there where I'm hitting the trap for about two or three feet. So I think I brought <clears throat> some larger gloves up. Throw these gloves on here. That way I can guide it down a little bit. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll probably end up just rotating by hand a little bit without pushing this up or down. So this is going to be your forward and reverse. And there's also a forward and reverse here on the actual machine itself. But I'm just going to sort of free spin it and see if it'll get past the trap. This is gravity. Okay, so it's not going to it's not going to do me that. So what I'll do is I'm going to get I'm going to retract the cable a little bit. And while I'm retracting the cable, I'm moving the snake closer so that the snake doesn't really have anywhere to go while I'm forcing it down the, the, um, the trap. So now I'm pushing the up arrow and I'm gonna see if I can bump past the trap here. Okay, I'm starting to hit some snags. So I wanna, when you ever, whenever you hit a snag, you wanna back off the pressure. You're either hitting the clog or you're hitting a turn. And if you get snagged up too much, you'll kink the cable and then you're just gonna have, you know, not a fun time. So now that it's sort of hitting something, I'm gonna sort of spin it a little bit. And then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna feel by hand what's going on. Okay, so I'm definitely hitting something there, either a turn or an obstruction. So I'm gonna go ahead and back out again. You can always go back. And when I'm going back, I'm not actually changing the direction here. I'm just changing the arrow on this. So now I'm going to go forward again, real close, and feel. I'm going to feel along the way. and see what's going on. So you see how I can fit, I can feed in manually by hand. I've gotten past whatever that obstruction was, whether it was a turn in the pipe or whether it was actually the blockage. Now I know my cable has 25 feet on it. So you do want to be careful that you don't drop the entire cable in. So when you're feeding by hand, you know, make sure you hold on to the cable. We're well past the blockage and I know for a fact that the main stack is not very far away. It should be only a few feet in this case. Uh, so I don't really need to go much more because I'm in the main. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna slowly uh, pull the cable back in, with the down button here, still in the forward direction. And this is gonna retract the cable. And now you will have you can see here, you will have some either some dust or some water or something coming out of the uh, the drum. You just don't, you know, put your eyes right here, otherwise it might fling into that. Okay. Look at
I can feel, I can feel that there's like very little resistance. So I don't want the cable to like fly out of there. So I'm gonna take this cable out the rest of the way by hand. Okay, got a little tiny bit of hair on the cable, but nothing, nothing crazy. So now what we wanna do, we're gonna to wanna to test the drain to see if we got it. Okay, so I, you need to shut off the valve depending on what valve you have. It might be a single, we got a single handle here. And then I'm gonna take the left, which is gonna be the hot water. And I'm gonna take it off of the machine back here. Let's see here if I can get it off. Okay. We're only gonna remove one hose. We're almost out. Okay, so now I've got my hot water and I'm gonna go directly into the drain. And I'm gonna turn on the water. And now you want to listen. If you hear the water start bubbling closer to you, you know you still have a, a blockage. But like this, we're running full pressure down and the water is draining very, very good. So I'll let it run for a little bit just to make sure it's not like way down the line. But I know for a fact in this particular area, the riser is not so far away. So we've got the blockage. Now just inspect your connection on your hose. Make sure the hose, these hoses look like they're in great shape. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and tighten this back onto the machine. And the last step is gonna be something that you definitely do not wanna forget. You have to put the drain hose back in the drain. And on this particular job, I didn't have to, um, I didn't have to cut this zip tie, but I always like to zip tie these drains. If you, if you can't get this out of there, you're gonna have to add another zip tie. Sometimes the force of the water draining from the machine can kick these things out. I always like to have a zip tie. Uh, now, I'm gonna just snug this up just a tiny bit. turn my water back on and we should be good to go I need to clean the machine up a little bit but that is how you can easily snake a laundry sink and the principle applies to almost every drain um, I really do uh, I do think this is a pretty valuable asset as long as you can keep the cables from kinking um, just go slow with it and you'll be fine Thanks a lot for making it to the end of the video. If you could leave me a comment, smash the like and subscribe button. I'll leave a link down below to the tools that I used in this video in order to uh, complete the job. If you have any questions or if yours looks a little different, feel free to let me know. I try to answer every comment and question that I get. See you guys.